Pinina is working towards clearing up its outstanding debts owed to different countries in a bid to improve the country's creditworthiness. Prime Minister Deacon Mitchell confirmed that government successfully negotiated a settlement of $5 million U.S. dollars in long-standing debt arrears owed to the state of Libya, contracted in 1980s by the People's Revolutionary Government, the PRG. This was a major move made four months after winning the June 23, 2022 general elections. The Prime Minister says Trinidad and Tobago's debt is now next. A uh, main creditor that we need to address is the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, or sister CARICOM uh, neighbor to the south, arising from uh, monies that were advanced to Grenada uh, in the aftermath of Hurricane Ivan um, and, and thereafter. And we are working uh, and on addressing that. Grenada presently owes Trinidad and Tobago $31.5 million U.S. dollars. Loan number one for $16.5 million U.S. million was contracted in September of 2005. Loan two of $15 million U.S. million was contracted in June 2013. The Grenadian leader says long-standing unresolved debts arrears to countries such as Algeria and Trinidad and Tobago have adversely affected Grenada's credit rating, placing the country in the category of selected default or SD. To keep the financial wheels turning smoothly, the Prime Minister says, while debts are being cleared, the time-old method of raising revenue via taxes will be strengthened. From 2024, we intend to embark upon a new tax system uh, driven largely from a digital basis. Uh, the advantages of doing so is that, one, it actually uh, reduces the cost of tax collection to the government. Additional financing measures being looked at are carbon trading and climate change leverage for more concessionary financing. PM Mitchell said his administration is looking at having Grenada accredited to benefit from a number of climate change related funding. The cabinet, for instance, on Monday uh, approved Grenada uh, joining the partnership agreement between the OECS CARICOM and the Afrexim Bank. We are also uh, looking at uh, uh, exploring the possibility of becoming a member of the uh, Caribbean and Latin American Development Bank, uh, which is in short known as CAF. Uh, the team at the Ministry of Finance is currently reviewing uh, uh, that situation uh, with the hope that we can get uh, cabinet approval in the not too distant future to also be able to partner uh, with that institution. The PM's announcements were made during a recent post-cabinet briefing. Sherry and Blackburn Stephen, GBN News.